Hi everybody, this is Anna with Home Eat Home and today we are making a copycat iced frappe mocha from Starbucks. This is what my taste buds say it tastes like, so you can do what you like, but this is just how I'm doing it today and I thought I would share because it's super easy and it saves me a lot of money. So, here we go. You're going to need coffee, ice. I do it in a separate cup, like I've mixed all my stuff and then I pour it over my ice. So I'm going to need Hershey syrup, some kind of chocolate syrup that you like, sugar, milk, and I just use my regular coffee because our Kareg is still packed away. So there we go. And what I do is, so that I can measure it out. I like a lot of sugar and cream with my coffee, so that's why I drink iced mochas. So, I'm going to use two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah. And then I'm going to pour in my coffee. And... I'm going to do about half coffee. There we go. Stir that. And then you're going to pour in your chocolate. And this is just a taste. And that's about a tablespoon of chocolate. And you can also, if you have whipped cream on hand, I did yesterday, I used it all, so. And then you want to put in your milk, and like I said, this is super easy, and it's going to save you almost seven bucks. And like I said, if you like less milk, put less milk. If you like more, put more. This is really, coffee is to your taste, but I'm just saying this tasted just like... Yesterday when I did it, it tasted just like um, a ice mocha from Starbucks. So I'm going to stir that really well. And then I'm going to pour it over my ice without spilling it. And there is your coffee and then you can pour some whipped cream on that and mix that in all oh, it is so yummy but it's yummy without the whipped cream too so thought I would share this because it was so easy and so good and you can have under three minutes your favorite coffee so just thought I would share your iced mocha frappe so y'all have a blessed day thanks for watching and many blessings don't forget to like and subscribe bye